is moving Timothy on a different track now. The Spirit of God is not a spirit of timidity. Right now, the one that is working in you, he is a spirit of power. What is the spirit of power? Now, I'm going to make it very relevant for you. Spirit of power. A spirit to face challenges, difficulty. Simple. If you are given a task, take ownership. Don't give in to that hardship. Persevere. And in this era, you've got to keep learning new things through the Holy Spirit, be it through your studies, your work, wherever. If you say evangelism is hard, Timothy, if being a minister is hard, shepherding people is hard, don't withdraw yourself. Engage people. Okay, engage, learn, get used to sinner. Get used to people who are full of emotions. Get used to them, okay? I know some of us don't like confrontation, you know. I don't like confrontation also. But when I was made a pastor, I have to face it. You get what I mean? Face it. Talk it out. You know, spirit of power, okay? You learn that, you teach your child that, okay? Everyone, spirit of power, okay? I don't mean, children, I don't mean go to school and fight. Huh? Not spirit of power, that kind of power, okay? It's the, you know what kind of power? The power, <laughs> the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of facing your challenges with wisdom, with love and all, okay? That kind of power I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, don't misunderstand me, okay? Now, next, the spirit of love, okay? I'm trying to put it very relevant to you, okay? What's the spirit of love? Now, for a Christian, to love and embrace is the calling of God. It is our ministry to love. So to deal with sinners, to understand them, engage them, is our ministry. If you cannot love, you will be typical. You think about it, how many a times you are struggling to work in the morning? Why are you struggling to work in the morning? You say, because that's a Monday morning, or that's a Tuesday morning. No, that's not the root issue. Because you are taking it just as a job, fulfill your responsibility, and get your salary at the end of the month. That's it. Because your motive is that. Typical thinking. If you cannot love, there's no power. You know what I mean? Just go fulfill tasks, you know, answer to boss, you know, cover yourself, any problem. You know. What's there to look forward to? I mean, as a Christian. So, if you fail to love, Day in, day out, your life will be just typical living, like the worldly people. That's why. That's why. Okay? But when you go to work with love, even if it's a Monday morning, you open your eyes wide, and you look at people who are feeling very down, very worried about life, worried for children, you talk to them. And you find the fulfillment of helping them, impacting them about Christian values, you know, engaging them, Knowing them better. No, that's the motivation, okay? Okay, next one. The spirit of self-discipline, self-control. Meaning what? Meaning we don't give in to our flesh. We don't give in to anger, okay? We don't give in to frustration. And I tell you, the non-believers can see that in us, okay? People can see that. And say, for instance, when, when I... I'm with the unbeliever. When everyone is eating heartily and greedily, I'm just eating moderately and then talking to people, counseling others. Wow, this fella is different. You know, he's not bounded by <laughs> the lust of the flesh. <laughs> you know what I mean? They can, they can see it, self-control. We speak with self-control. We deal with people with wisdom. We don't lose our cool. That's why they will start, start to spot the difference. You are unique, unique people. You are people with self-control. People just give into the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and all. But you're different. Spirit of self-control. Okay? So our primary sixes, I say it again, okay? When it's time to study, I tell you what. You train yourself, put away all your handphones, and all. Put away everything that distracts you. This is spirit of self-control. Okay? Not only those uh, secondary students, okay, studying. And then, I tell you what spirit of self-control. It's not about, okay, that particular date, my last paper, after that, just let loose. After that, let loose with your wherever, handphone games, Pokemon, or 
whatever television program, just let loose for that two months. No, that's not self-control. Self-control is really doing everything as to how God has led us. You know, the Spirit guides us when to eat, what to do, when to play, you know, how, when to study. You know, self-control thing. Now, if you learn it from young, you will save the era. Amen to that? Okay, the world needs remnants like this. You have learned a lot from Pastor Vincent, I tell you. But if you are not formed to be such a person, you must look yourself in the mirror and introspect. What happened to all the messages that you've heard? What happened? Okay, How you, you should train and align yourself to the messages that you've heard. 